Hello, this is Barbie with Artifaces, making a super quick training video. I'm sorry, this one's on my phone, quick and dirty. I don't have time right now to learn how to do YouTube video editing and all that stuff. So um, here it is. We're going to make the snake right here, um, super quick. You are going to take a rainbow cake that is yellow, red, and black. Right now, I only have a yellow and red one. A little child with sticky fingers stole my other one. So I'm just taking yellow and red from a different cake and I'm dipping it in the black. It's not as ideal, but it does work for now. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a lighter color on top and you're going to go at an angle, probably from under the kid's hair. And you're going to have the body of the snake kind of swinging like this. Then you're going to take, you're going to turn your brush around. See the black is on the bottom here? You're going to have black on your brush meet the black here. Okay, you want to have that on the same side, and you're going to go like this. I'm working one-handed, sorry. And you're going to end at a point. Then you're going to do the same thing over here on the other side. We've got the black on the brush. You can see it on the same side as the black um, of the body of the snake up here. This is important for continuity reasons. I'm going to come in here. Come a little closer. I need to reload. Oh, my little kitty's joining me. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart. Okay. Now we're going to make the face of the snake. We're going to go just a little bit of kind of zigzaggies. I put too much black on, but that's all right. Then we're going to make a little bit of a kind of like a weird eyeball thing. Um, whatever you want to do to make your snake face. It doesn't matter. Then we're going to take some white. And we're going to do some fangs. You're not going to be able to see them very well right here. Buttercup. Hi, huh, baby. And uh, then we're going to make some eyes. My paper's a little wet. That's okay. Normally it'll be a little bit drier on the skin right now. I'm just kind of gooking up. I'm going to grab some black. You've already got black on one side, so what we're going to do is go on the other side. Oh, my paper's too. Everything's too wet. All right, you're going to pull and drag. Pull and drag. Real dirty. You don't want this to be perfect. Um, that should already have some black there. Okay, we're going to do the same thing there. Okay, we're going to do the tail. So you just lay down your brush, roll it a little bit, and then end it with a couple dots. Um, the messier the better. So again, this is one of those where you want coffee. Okay, the face, just outline what you've done here. You already have that outline. You're going to outline the fangs. And actually, what I forgot to do, when you still have your brush, you can take the um, side that's yellow and red, and you actually can make a little bit of a tongue. If you want to, if you want to be a little bit more authentic, you can just grab a red brush and do that um, and then just brush it in with a red brush. But if you're in a hurry, as we are here, uh, outline the eyes, put a little slit for the eye. Um, you can do this a lot neater than I just did. Uh, two little, those two little nostrils on the top. Um, if you want to accentuate this, you can. And um, you mostly have it. I do like to add some white, if I have time, to every design just to kind of make it pop from far away. So sometimes I'll go back and I'll just add just a little bit of white here and there. Um, if you're at, a, um, at an event that's a birthday party where you have more time, I would put here and here some one-stroke leaves kind of coming down. I could put a tree trunk going right behind this tree right here. Um, I've done that. It looks really good. And, um, well, there you have it. Super quick, down and dirty snake.